On today's video, three amazingly designed portfolio websites that are gonna inspire you and give you ideas for typography, layout, colors, interaction. It's just so good, let's rock and roll. Hey design friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to Flux, where we cover design and making a living as a designer. Today, I wanna show you a few of the recent portfolio websites that I saw that just kind of blew my mind. And portfolio websites are great to review because this is where we designers can actually experiment a little bit. There's no client to tell us, no, don't do this, this is too crazy. This is where we can just do what we're actually excited about without limitations. And this is where you can really see some interesting design ideas and pushing kind of like what's possible on the web today and, and you know usability and all that kind of things in an artistic way. So let's jump right into it. The first website that I wanna show you is for Jomar Design. Jomar is kind of a, a big designer in the Webflow scene and this website is also built on Webflow and there's really, very cool things here. First of all, on the basic kind of level, it's basically a combination of this serif font and sans serif font throughout the whole website. And then the color is actually coming from the imagery. So the whole website itself is black and white and the color actually comes from the work. And there's a lot of kind of like layering of things, right? Things go above and beyond and interact with one another. And that's really, really cool. And there is very solid kind of like subtle interaction. So all of the texts are bro breaking down. And so there's kind of like this parallax effect as you're scrolling in. But as you can see, it's very, very minimalist, right? Just this black and white, but the combination of really great font, and I'm a, I'm a sucker for a big font, it's just, it's just, Lovely, I love this. Also check out this very, very cool, minimalistic yet very cool interaction here on the logo and also on the menu. So this is really nice. Also in the, in the menu here, again, just flipping around between these fonts, but it also just the transition makes it look kind of like a 3D transition. Actually, they're just, you know, uh, rotating or skewing, but it looks like a 3D transition between these two fonts. I actually think so simple and yet beautiful. Now here, again, very, very simple, but the fact that each section kind of comes on top of the section before adds a dimension. And the fact that, you know, the type actually moves on top of the image in this little parallax effect, all of these very, very simple things, there's not a lot of elements here, right? Like a text and an image, but they add so much depth into this. I really, really love this website. Also this cool arrow interaction. So this is the website for Jomer Design. The other website that I wanna show you is for this designer called Matt Rogers. And again, uh, very cool intro kind of, I, I'm a sucker for personal, you know, if this is a personal website, show who you are and what a great way to show who you are than showing, you know, a photo of you with your daughter kind of already makes it personal, already makes it fun. Uh, you know, we're all human beings, we're professional, but we also have our personal lives. And I, that's great, I really, really love this. Now here, he starts off after showing who he is, explaining, you know, British designer and so forth. Something that I really love about this website is you can see on, you know, uh, the cursor, there's kind of like a circle following me around. And when I'm gonna go here on, on top of the logo, it turns into a rectangular. If I'm going here, on top of these, it becomes the underline. So that's a, a, another very, very creative kind of use of micro interaction. And this website as well is built on Webflow. So I love how creative um, he was with these interactions. Um, I love how people show kind of like websites in an animated way. It's so boring where people just put screenshots of website that they design. And the fact that he made it kind of like interactive and there's kind of a video in the background that shows the interaction, I think that's a way more interesting way to show projects and also, this as well, tell me about your projects. All the little micro interaction, again, the circle goes around and becomes bigger. All these tiny little details, I love them. Even if we go here into project, um, everything that has to do with the interactions, you see the hover over each one of these projects, everything moves, everything reacts to it. Um, I love this. I think these are really wonderful micro interaction and uh, it's really, really nice really, really nice. The whole element of the circle that's coming around with you from element to element, following you around, uh, really great use of uh, design element consistent throughout the website. 
And the last website that I wanna show you is this one. It's called Creative Nights. It's for a Prague-based designer. And already at the beginning, there is this thing where you cannot, I'm trying to hover over the text, but he's running away. And this is just so playful. You know, the, even the shapes here, there are, they, they react to my mouth. And these are not like ordinary shape. We're, we're used to seeing circles and ra rectangular, but this kind of like an organic shape that kind of changed based on my mouth. Already this is playful uh, and nice kind of like interesting things goes in the background. And this website is super, 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 I think, I don't know if to say trendy or artistic, but as you can see, there's not a lot of contrast here, probably wouldn't pass an accessibility test, but you know, gradients in the background, these vague gradients, super, super trendy right now, and I love it. Also, this, the hover uh, interaction on these projects here is also very similar to what we had in the, in the beginning, right? It's kind of like coming from the side of the mouse, it's shape, changing its side. This is obviously some custom code here, but it's really playful and really nice to, to, um, to play around with. It really makes you want to hover. By the way, I'm not sure how this happens on mobile, but on desktop, this is definitely super, super playful to play around. And what I love about this, right, he's showing his work, and then he's going down into basically, he calls this word, but basically uh, what he believes in, right? Ability to adapt, uh, design experience that enable people to feel engaged, stay relevant. I love it when designers use their platform to share what they believe in. Um, yeah, and that's that's part of the reason clients end up using them, or, or not using them, but working with them because they have a philosophy, they had, they're standing for something. Um, and I love it, I love it that they're, that. He's showing it, and uh, yeah. All right, so these are the three portfolio websites that I like. If there's any that you like, put them in the comments below so I can check them out, and make sure that you're subscribed and liking this video for more web design content. I'll see you in the next video, peace out.